What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dre. We're back with another video. And you already know we're back because it's the second video this week. But today I'm going to be talking about the do's and don'ts for your curly or wavy hair. I'm also going to be talking about a few products that I like to use for my hair and how I style and get my hair cut. But before we get into the video, 97% of y'all that are watching aren't subscribed. So what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that button and join the squad because we're on the road to 2K. But anyways, no more rambling. Let's go. Now this first thing that you shouldn't be doing with your curly or wavy hair is washing it every day. Now when I say washing, I more specifically mean shampooing your hair. And I know plenty of people do this. I used to even do this myself. When you're putting shampoo in your hair, yes, you are getting rid of dirt, but you're also getting rid of those essential oils that your hair needs to keep it hydrated, but also looking very healthy. Instead of shampoo every day I shampoo every two to three days condition my hair every other day now wash time should vary based off of your hair I personally have friends that have a tighter 4c texture and they can get away with shampooing their hair once a week or even once every two weeks but on the flip side we'll have to condition their hair more often as well as use oils to keep the hair hydrated next one thing that you should be doing is sleeping with a silk pillowcase now sleeping with a silk pillowcase is perfect for your curls not only does it keep you cool while you're sleeping but it also prevents your hair from being pulled out in your sleep you can go on Amazon and get a pack of two silk pillowcases for very cheap i'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to every product that i talk about in this video It'll be in the description below just to make your life a little bit easier but you can get a silk pillowcase on amazon for really cheap and an alternative to this would be sleeping with like a silk head wrap or a bonnet they all do the same job it's really just up to whatever you prefer this next tip i know a lot of people are doing is that you shouldn't be drying your hair with a regular bath towel now i personally haven't used these type of towels on my hair in years is because they're very rough on your curls and yes it will dry your hair but it will also cause your hair to frizz up so if you don't want any frizz stop using this on your hair and instead I'd recommend using a microfiber towel like this and wrapping your head in it until it's dry or what I do is pat dry and just crimp all my hair up with this and if you don't have one of those then just a regular old t-shirt that you don't wear anymore will do the job the next tip that you should be doing is detangling your curls now whether that's using detangle brush or your fingers itself detangling my hair is something that I do every time that I get out of the shower this helps prevent breakage which we all know everybody hates while also helping your hair stay hydrated now when you're using a detangle brush on your hair you should not be doing this while your hair is dry that's why i said i do this when i get out of the shower room when my hair is wet or really damp now my last tip that you shouldn't be doing is a product that i'd advise you not use which is actually a product that i know a lot of people use for their curls and that is cantu now, i've had a lot of mixed reviews about cantu but i've personally used it myself since switching from cantu to the products i use now my hair has felt 10 times more healthy and a lot less heavy and greasy as well but now that i'm done with my do's and don'ts here are a few products that i use for my hair First are my shampoo and my conditioner. They're both from the same company, AG Hair Care, and these are the Curl Fresh Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are both plant-based. I've used a lot of shampoos and conditioners over the years, and this just happened to be one of the good products that work with my hair. I wouldn't say these are really cheap, but, but they're not really the most expensive, and they make my hair feel amazing, so no complaints from me. Now, I personally hate using a lot of products in my hair, and I like to keep it very simple, and I really only use one or two other products for styling. The first one being Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie. It has silk protein and neem oil i'm a fan of this it's not too heavy it's not like cantu and if i still had cantu i would show you a side-by-side -side comparison and you would see how much better shea moisture is and obviously for bonus points it makes your hair smell really good alternative to shea moisture and honestly a product that i might even like more is aunt jackie's curl la la as you can see i'm fully out of this stuff <laughs> and it's for good reason this is my second jar of this that i've had and since i started using this product i probably can never stop this whole tub it only cost me 13.99 canadian so that's probably about eight dollars us and i don't know what it is about this product but whenever i put it in my hair i feel like the styling process comes a lot easier as well as the results in my curls being the best that they've ever looked now the way that i go about applying this is first lightly apply it to very damp hair i like to get a decent amount on my three fingers spread them around and really just get everything the first time around then i go in with my microfiber towel dry the hair a little bit more then go back in with smaller scoops and just get each section all my hair has a little bit of product in it and from there it's all about just styling your hair as it starts to dry now for my hair i do like to have my sides and a little bit of my forehead showing so what i do is just go on my fingers and make my own little middle part brush my hair to the side and then as my hair starts to dry on the sides just continuously crimping it up and scrunching it until i get it to my desired look now on tiktok i have gotten a lot of comments asking about the exact haircut that i get it is just a mid taper on the sides and the back as well as that tapered hairline where they just take a strip of your hair and cut it down low and line that up besides that that's basically it 
I have a full 360 of hair, which is something that I've always wanted because now that my hair is long enough and I can put it in braids, I have a full head of cornrows instead of just the top. But anyways, that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments below which products that you like to use from your hair. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, share with a friend, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you guys back real soon.